This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by nhliberty.org. Now, I'm standing here with Andrew, uh, I didn't get your last name, but I forgot it. You don't have to give it to me. No. But uh, you, you set up the event, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, now, are you uh, uh, coming, what, what political uh, direction are you coming from? Uh, well, I'm a free stater. I signed and just recently moved, actually, three weeks ago. So, new, oh, okay. uh, new free stater here. You hit and, the ground uh, running. Yeah. The decided. protest would not have happened if you hadn't moved here. Um, well, I suppose I still could have set it up in Massachusetts, but <laughs> it certainly is closer being in, uh, in New Hampshire where I moved to. I was from Boston. I have heard some interesting ideas from people today as to what they think maybe should be done next. I'd like to get your take on them. Uh, one person has suggested this protest should be repeated, but in front of Gene Shane's house. What do you think? I would go to that. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be the one to set the Facebook event up due to possible legal issues, but I would go to it. <laughs> Um, another concept that I believe is uh, is bouncing around here is that, well, I mean, uh, do you have any sense here? Are there any Democrats here today? I really haven't spoken to the crowd. I hope there are. Um, I didn't mean for this to be a free state event. I meant it to be, you know, an all-encompassing event. And I know there's certainly plenty of uh, Democrats protesting in Boston, you know, just have heard. So I don't, I don't think it's 100% free state opposition around the country, but here it does seem to be very represented by the free state project. There is actually a pro-intervention uh, rally in um, in Boston today, but I couldn't find one in New Hampshire. I probably would have gone to that oh, instead. Wow. Yeah, yesterday I know there was an anti-war one, and um, uh, public radio was doing a thing on it as I wrote over. So yeah, there was an anti-war one yesterday. A pro no, I mean a pro-war. I mean, I was, I mean, I like to go to rallies I disagree with. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, that could be fun. I might have to hopefully um, you know go to a few more of these things before the vote is signed, and maybe I'll go to a pro-war one. I feel like honestly probably more effective at a pro-war rally as a demonstrator than you are at an anti-war rally when it comes to convincing, you know, people. Right. And this, and the... the The, uh, the, the, the free stater presence here is probably disproportionate because of the fact that your friends probably tend to be free staters on Facebook. Well, yeah, and I, you know, I advertised it at whatever methods I had at my disposal, but tra Facebook was a main method. You know, I sent out some press releases. We got some mainstream media here, which was nice, but Facebook probably was the main driver, and since I tend to have free staters on my periphery on Facebook, it probably did it disproportionately. <laughs> All right, Andrew, thanks for thanks for hitting the ground running. Yep. Well, and welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. So this is what concerns me the most. This is from Bloomberg. It says, two of the most powerful insurgent factions in Syria are al-Qaeda factions. And so this concerns me. Is who? What, so we're going to overthrow Assad, who's a terrible guy. No one here likes Assad, obviously. But who's going to take over? Is it going to be al-Qaeda? Because that's certainly what you know it seems like. And so if al-Qaeda takes over, then we're just going to have to send boots in on the ground like we did in Afghanistan to fight al-Qaeda. So, Because, you know, we've done this before. We overthrew the Soviets in Afghanistan in the 80s and, like set up, yeah, and set up Osama bin Laden, which turned out to be a horrible decision. So that's what I'm worried about. That's what I think is going to happen. Channel 9 is here, in case you were wondering what that was. And I did want to uh, also explain that, uh, I guess, total turnout hit about 30 by the end of it. I didn't actually do an exact head count, but the total was about 30, maybe maybe as much as 40. But nobody wants to cross arm and let us out the river. We have to do something. Now, what should we should we go in conflict, or should we send you as a, as a, as a peacemaker? Where are you, where are you from? Haiti. You send you, should you send your nice daughter as a peacemaker, as a peacekeeper to come and tell with a with a, a, a flower to tell Assad please uh -huh. stop the killing. What do you want? Yeah, yeah. You want money? Do you want this? Do you want well, that? I mean it's obviously a civil war, it's not just one side killing the other side. Yeah. <laughs> We need to throw everybody out of office. All the politicians. Get them the hell out of here.
Start right from the top. Throw a bum at that. Right now. I forgot you're the video guy. Oh, they see me in the street all day, every day. So you, you're a volunteer cleaning the street? That's that is so every, awesome. Every day, brother. Thank you so much. Every day, all day. Do you have a website or anything? A place no, people I, can donate? No, no, I don't. But somebody's going to help me out. I'm not that computer savvy, so I don't know. You know what I mean? My how would How would people donate to you if they I, want to? I could, I could start a, a open an account through Citizens Bank, I would assume. Oh, okay. Well, it's an idea. <laughs> how, do, how do people... Is there... People could contact me. Is there a way people can contact you? 660-4095. All right, thanks. And that's Specialist Kurt, and that's Specialist Payne. All right, Mr. Payne, thank you so much. It's very New Hampshire. And you know what? I have lots of stories, lots of stories. It is said, or certainly could be said, hell hath no fury like a well-intentioned government. Well, I don't know how good the intentions are over here, but I can tell you that the folks at the State House in Concord, New Hampshire, are not interested in protecting your freedom for the most part. They're taking it away, piece by piece. Fortunately, unlike in most states, they're not doing it without a fight. That is in large part due to the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. Now, if you were to go into the State House there behind me and do this, you would hit one of the members of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance because they're in there all over the place fighting for your freedom. They also offer free training if you want to learn the ways of the Citizen Freedom Lobby. Visit them at nhliberty.org.